Okay, I hope Dr. Gigos will not be upset at the end of these uh, five minutes because the patient IGRF will tell him what to do to reduce the pain that he has. And actually, what I am going to show you is something that you have to look uh, very carefully because I will be asking questions to you, and if you have uh, no answer, you have to pay me one glass of wine or a beer or whatever you want. And don't laugh on this picture because this is from our Chinese who get that picture. Now, this is our heritage up to ITR 2008. Are you happy with this network? So the question is, which couple is best distributed with, uh, via I, uh, GPS? And uh, actually, the current situation is that we have a network for VLBI, which is getting better. If you are not happy, you have to tell me why. And I will tell you why it is getting better, because in the next slide, you will see that, uh, first of all, we have only one, 26 good sites. But in the same time, we have to thank our colleagues from Australia and New Zealand because we start to see with other countries a new generation system for VLBI. And this is good, but what, it is not the case of SLR because if you see that it is a poor network, say that to Mike Perman. He will not be upset by that, neither Dr. Gigos, because they know about it. But the worst situation is coming next here when you see where there are only 19 sites and there is a site here in Argentina has three years of observation, and we don't have GPS there. It's a shame. So IGS has to take an action there in order to remedy that situation. And here is the total number of VLBI SLR GPS, uh, and Doris actually collocated with GPS. But I am not happy even if you are happy, and you have to pay me a beer if you are happy. And this is the total number, 652 sites from IGS, where we have observations, and we process all these data. And in green, you see that we have 10 to 18 years of time series, but we have problems. What are these problems? We have discontinuities in 50% of these sites, and even not only earthquakes, but also for equipment change. So the question, how stable is the ITRF? Uh, no, not the IGS reference frame, of course, the ITRF itself. Now, the thorny issue is that how accurate are the local ties? You don't know. Well, it is not better than three millimeter because of these uh, internal system biases. And if you don't believe me, you have to convince me that is not true. Uh, don't laugh here because we want to improve the situation of collocations with Kolush here. If you don't know him, tell me. I will tell you who is that. But, uh, of course, we have GPS to tie all the techniques, but GPS has errors, and to show that, we have 50% of discrepancies uh, of most of the sites larger than C milli 6 millimeter. And we cannot say that the discrepancy are only due to local ties, because we know that there are uh, errors everywhere. So we are happy. We gain precision at, as time goes. But we are unhappy because the accuracy is not there because we, we, we are at the one centimeter, whereas we have to improve the situation by at least 10 times more. This is a very nice picture where you have 500 sites where you have a very nice velocity field, but of course it is not enough to have this picture to estimate plate motion model. That's why, because we have only 14 plates where we have the possibility to estimate these play, uh, rotation poles, and the question why, and you will see that over the 500 sites, we have to reject, actually it is coming here, 300 sites, ending up with a ridiculous number in Eurasia and North America describing these huge plates. Why? And that will come here, actually, in the next slide, because we have to obey or to satisfy the condition of, no, uh, of the rigid plates. But in the question to Bernard Mister, I don't know if he is here, are all the plates really rigid? No. When you see only these green points that describe the motion of these plates. And the last point is that we have earthquakes, unfortunately, over the more than 10 years ago. And this is the plot given by, uh, to me, to my PhD students. We have to quantify the impact of these giant earthquakes on the ice stability. And this is a big question. Now the end. We need to improve the infrastructure. We need money. We need to avoid bureaucracy. So Gigos, Dr. Gigos should leave science and analysis to the IG surfaces. 
And of course, uh, there are things that are in GIGOS which are not appropriate, like, for instance, the Bureau for Conventions. Thank you.